What's going on, y'all? My name is Malcolm, and welcome to my channel, Lounge and Out, where we discuss everything fragrance related from reviews to unboxings and everything in between. So, if all that sounds great to you all, make sure you click the subscribe button and hit that bell icon so you can be notified every time I drop a new video. That way, you can shoot on over, you can check it out, and if you like it, give it a thumbs up. And if you dislike it, make sure you let me know in the comment section why you dislike the video so I can use that feedback as a means to improve my future content. So, with that said, let's get into today's video. Today's video Video is going to be a versus battle between the EDT of Aqua Di Gio versus the EDP. So starting off with the EDT, it has a nice frosted finish on the bottle. Has that original Aqua Di Gio bottle, um, except it has that silver cap, um, which all the others I think from here on now have like a different cap. If you can see that the GA logo. As far as like the bottle design, I do like the way it looks. I do like that frosted finish, and if you didn't know this fragrance came out back in i think 1996 almost 30 years people are still wearing this fragrance and for good reason because it does smell good we got a lot of people who grew up wearing this fragrance from you know almost 30 plus years ago i mean whether it's your dad your uncle brother cousin whoever all those people probably swear up and down um about aqua di Gio, the old age toilet version because it does still work in the summertime this is going to be one of those great fragrances that's going to cool you off on the hottest of the hot days i mean this would be a great fragrance to sit out by the pool i mean even wear casually i mean you can wear this fragrance to the office i mean it's, it's as versatile as versatile gets again i do still feel like this fragrance has a place within the fragrance community or for people who just like this scent profile i mean it's still one of the highest selling men's fragrance for a reason i mean because everybody's just so familiar with that dna we're going to get into the main course of this fragrance up top we have the citrus aromatic and marine accords and in the mids we got the fresh spice floral accords as well as woody and fresh in the base so if you don't know by now this fragrance is an aquatic fragrance There's no breakdown it has so many different notes it's probably like the most notes i've seen the top notes we have lime lemon bergamot jasmine orange mandarin orange as well as neroli in the middle notes we have seed notes jasmine again cologne peach freesia we have rosemary um, I can't pronounce that. <laughs> I'm just going to put the notes up on the screen. So if I can't pronounce it, then um, you all can read it. And hopefully you all can pronounce it better. Cyclamen, uh, coriander, violet, nutmeg, rose. I can't pronounce that last one either. <laughs> so in the base notes, we have white musk, cedar, oak moss, patchouli, as well as amber. So again, this has a lot of different notes. But honestly, I do feel that this is a good fragrance. I'm going to go ahead and try it on a tester strip to see exactly what I think about this fragrance. It has been a while since I've gotten my notes on this fragrance. All right, so great atomizer. Pumps out a lot of juice again very aquatic and you get some floral notes in there as well i remember my brother having this fragrance when i was in my early 20s um he kept it in his closet and i didn't have any fragrances at the time so whenever he'd leave for work or wherever he was going i sneak into his room he kept it on the top shelf where he hung all his clothes run in there sneak a few sprays on and dip <laughs> but i do remember it being fresh i do remember it being like citrusy but i don't think i remember it being so floral i don't know if they change anything um as a recent but i do pick up a lot of floral notes i am getting a green tinge in, in this as well but again i think the edp speaks to me more than the edt from all of my experiences with all the other aqua di Gio's in the line every single one has great performance as far as the projection as far as the longevity again i had it in my collection i wore it a few times out at the pool i um, got in the pool you know probably feel like it washed off after a certain point but then like after a while i wasn't really picking too much up but you know when i'm out at the pool we're out maybe like you know five six hours at a time sometimes you know what i mean but but it, it does smell good though i will give it that like it smells really good not that i'm saying it's a bad fragrance not that i'm knocking it by any means but i do think that this does smell good again it's fresh aquatic floral the green i think anybody would enjoy this fragrance so they decide to choose the edt over the edp so that's the edt of aqua di Gio. now we're going to go ahead and get into the edp 
now we're getting into the EDP, which just came out last year. I think maybe sometime in March or something like that. Um, it was early spring, maybe late winter or something. But um, I do remember that um, I'm going to say it was that big of a deal. Um, I don't think that like its release was as big as when Profondo came out. But I do like this a lot, as you can see again. Like this is the largest bottle. Well, this isn't. I don't think. This, I think this is the largest bottle that they sell. And I've already like gone through half of the bottle. Whenever the summer months roll around and it's going to be hot, and I do feel like this is a another refreshing fragrance that's going to cool you off in the summertime. And as far as like the longevity on this fragrance, I feel like it gets maybe like six and a half maybe seven hours of longevity it projects well has a good sillage i mean i do get a lot of compliments from this fragrance but i feel like this is a little bit more green than the edt so as far as the main accords we have uh aromatic marine and mineral accords up top then we have the citrus fresh spicy salty accords in the mid and in the dry down we have the woody lavender accords all right so as far as the notes it's not as many notes as the edt so at the top we got the c notes we got the green mandarin and in the mid we have clary sage geranium lavender and in the base we have mineral notes we have vetiver as well as patchouli so that's where you're going to get the green tinge and the earthiness and again it has the mineral notes in here so it's going to kind of have like a almost like a sediment um uh a core to it basically um it's kind of like to me as if you know when the water crashes up against the rocks and you get that 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 the sediment smell from the water crashing up against the rocks that's what i envision basically whenever i uh, i see the mineral notes and the lavender i'm gonna freshen it up some you got the green mandarin up top to give it that nice fresh citrus touch as well as the seed notes because it is an aquatic fragrance i mean that's what the aqua line is if anybody's ever heard of the aqua online it's all aquatic fragrances okay if you're going on vacation to a beach somewhere these are great for uh those situations and honestly this is another great office fragrance it's another great versatile fragrance hanging out by the pool whatever i mean shoot you're going to run errands you're going to meet up with friends this would be a great fragrance to just throw on it could be a great dumb reach uh, but honestly i really do enjoy this fragrance and the one thing about this fragrance this uh, particular fragrance they're starting to do like the um, recyclable bottles so you can unscrew the atomizer and buy a refill and fill it back up so you know you waste less bottles and whatnot i think it's a good looking bottle very simple you know nothing crazy like the pocket rebonds phantom bottle like that's like one of the wildest looking bottles i've seen <laughs> but honestly this is a great fragrance like i recommend this to anybody like if you're just trying to get into something that smells good fresh and aquatic i think this will be a great option i mean i think everybody's gonna love it on you everybody loves it on everybody loves it on me i mean shoot and this is a killer honestly like any fragrance within the aqua di Shio line even the edt they're all hands down great fragrances i'm going to spray this tester strip of the edp to see what i pick up versus the edt so here we go Oops. yeah <laughs> yeah yeah that's that's the reason why i like this more <laughs> much more greener up top i do get that lavender for sure the freshness from the lavender kind of like the floral notes in here the citrus is right there for sure uh hmm. I do like the EDP. <laughs> I do like the EDP, man. I really can't wait to wear it this spring and summer. Oh, man. These are... The EDP is a great spring and summer fragrance, man. Hmm. Man, yeah. Uh, and, yeah. I do get that, like, the nice sediment mineral accord to this fragrance. And then, like, when it gets to the dry down, you get more of, like, the sea saltiness from the fragrance, you know what I mean? So, it's kind of like you really just took a dip in the ocean whenever you wear these fragrances, which is what I like about them. Because, I mean, if you're not always, you know, able to go to the beach and whatnot, and you like going to the beach, I don't know if you've ever swam in the ocean, but it's salty as hell. <laughs> and, you know, this kind of reminds you of being in the ocean. 
a good fresh as fresh can get honestly but i really do like the edp all right so let me try out the edt again I, it's a lot more floral um heavy that's what i'm picking up mostly it's like the floral notes in here i feel like the citrus notes have already started to fade back And it says it has peach in here as well. I'm not really picking up any fruity, peachy notes or anything like that. But it does smell good, but it's not as potent as the EDP, which, you know, I mean, the EDP is a higher concentration and whatnot, but. Yeah, yeah. My personal opinion, I like the EDP a little bit more, so um, you can take that for what it's worth. <laughs> But I will say that the EDT still is a great fragrance, and it is a reason why it's still on the shelves. I mean, there's so many different fragrances that are discontinued all the time. I mean, it just seemed like more and more fragrances are getting discontinued, and you know. <laughs> but when it comes to Aqua Di Show, the EDT is still standing strong. I mean, it, honestly, it's one of like the Aquatic Kings, if you want to dub it that. It's not as strong as it was initially when I first sprayed the fragrance, but again just floral floral notes fresh i do get the aquatic notes from here mm. it is good though i will say that the edp <laughs> yeah it's, it's definitely more green than the edp you do get the green notes in here in the edt but the edp is just man it's a little bit brighter in my opinion a little bit more tart it's like maybe i guess that's where the green mandarin is coming in it might be a little bit more tart i guess but maybe like a little rindy i guess but i do like that you know that kind of come off a little bit more mature in my opinion overall i think if i had to pick between the edp and the edt i think i'm going with the edp I will leave a link in the description for both. If you like how I broke down the EDT and it sounds like that's something you want, again, I will leave a link in the description. But again, personally, I really do like the EDP and I can't wait to wear more. I even bought a backup bottle because I like the EDP so much, you know what I mean? But again, I wanna give a shout out to my buddy, Joey. Um, he let me borrow this bottle so I can do a review on it. And if you're watching this, man, I really do appreciate it. And I will get this bottle back to you ASAP. <laughs> All right. Well, that's going to do it for me. Let me know in the comment section what you thought about this video. Did you find it useful? Do you think that the EDT is better? Do you think the EDP is better? Give this video a like if you like it. Give it a thumbs down if you don't. But let me know in the comment section why you dislike this video. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. And I'm going to catch y'all in the next one. All right. Peace.